<laughs> Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. I'm Mike Briggs, the host of the show. You know what we do here and we have since 2008 is we celebrate what's good about Fresno and the whole valley and the whole state for that matter. There's so many good things going on out there and people doing good things. And we want to spotlight that. We want to celebrate that. And I bet there's things going on out there that you don't even know what's going on. Now, our next guest, she's not going to like this introduction, but I'm going to say it this way. She's a true hero. <laughs> you guys are heroes. Oh, we don't think of us as that. What's the name of your organization? It's the Central California Animal Disaster Team, and we are uh, based here in Fresno. I am the founder and CEO, and we provide disaster-related services uh, in relation for animals. Uh, what we do is we... Uh, evacuate and by the way here's a disaster There's evacuate that flood right right that's just last week or two this was uh, this past week um, our team was uh, deployed to assist the Merced County Animal Services uh, to help uh, with evacuated animals during uh, due to the floods what we did was provide emergency animal sheltering for the small companion animals like dogs and cats and then also uh, we worked with them f uh, to shelter the livestock there was goats there was chickens there were ho horses Great. so people have to leave fast sometimes or leave slow whatever uh, but they get to maybe a shelter or a hotel, and they say, no, no, you can't bring animals in. Right. And that's, that's where you guys come in. That's where we come in. And what we usually do, we uh, partner with Red Cross um, uh, Central California, and we actually set up a sh emergency shelter, like for small animals. Mm -hmm. Well, for example, say they're at the school which or at a fairgrounds, which mm -hmm. we were at at Merced Fairgrounds. And uh, we had a building where we set up a, a small animal emergency shelter. We had the cages, we had the supplies. We had probably about 30 animals mm. in there, dogs and cats. And then um, in the livestock area, of course, is where the horses and the goats. They and already have that at the fairgrounds. Probably. Yes, yeah. they had that as How convenient that is. Now, I think of a flood. That was a big one. We just had that. What other kinds of disasters have you guys helped out with? Primarily, it's wildfires. Ah. And since uh, 2013, we have responded to help during about 42 wildfires. Mm. Um, about 39 of them are here in the Central Valley, primarily in Mariposa and eastern Madera County, which is more mm. like Oakhurst, North Fork, in that area. We did, of course, have the huge fire here in uh, 2020, That's right. the Creek Fire, where we, had, we were working with our Fresno Humane Animal Services, Animal Control, and uh, there was probably around 5,600 animals mm. that I hear that we were helping oh because goodness. it's not just sheltering, yeah. it's that a lot of animals are still left behind in yeah. homes. Got to get some feed. They have to have be fed, they have to be watered, mm -hmm. and especially if they're in the rural areas because their electricity is cut off, and a lot of uh, these people are on wells. So right. what we need to do can't is... can't pump water. We can't pump water, mm -hmm. and so what uh, we do is uh, the teams are sent out with water, you know, water trucks, trailers, and um, we're able to refill their water troughs. Now, um, you go, how far north have you gone? Uh, Merced is pretty much f uh, the farthest north, uh, Mariposa, of yeah. course, and the farthest south we have gone is Kern County. Our Kern. We have teams in, in these areas, okay. so we uh, provide service in seven counties. Here's a pet that was literally scooped up in somebody's mm -hmm. arms and saved. That was a pet that was lost oh. and was in our shelter, and the owner uh, came to our shelter and was reunited with that uh, that dog. That Actually, that photo was... Um, taken by a staff member of um, Assemblyman uh, Jim Patterson, mm. and he's just says, you can use this. And but it was you could see that with the emotional yes. unification because she thought that dog maybe had been lost forever. Forever, yeah. Uh, that pony, uh, on, that's a, a little pony that was at the Merced um, Fairgrounds mm -hmm. uh, during the, these um, floods. Now, did you physically pick it up in a trailer and take it no, there? No, what happens is in the evacuation is uh, the Merced County Sheriff's Office pick these up. They have a... They have right. like they have a team that have has yeah. the um, the trailers and everything. Like here in Fresno County, we work um, in coordination with the uh, Sheriff's Posse. Mm. And uh, so we really do a lot of coordination with the evacuations. We'll pick up animals every once in a while, but we try to do it with in coordination with with them because once road closures are implemented, mm -hmm. there's only certain uh, 
organizations and or people that can go behind can the go lines, right, so. for their safety and for, and also we want to make sure that no one is trying to evacuate animals and taking them wherever. Yes. Because there's a lot, there is looting. Right. And so we want to make sure all of the animals stay, stay safely with their owners. Here's some beautiful dogs. Those were some Boston Terriers. We had these at the floods, and there was a litter of three, and we had the, the mother and the father, so they all went home uh, yeah. last Thursday, actually. But you could tell just by looking at these, this is somebody's dog. It's not an abandoned dog or something. No, either. and we don't really get abandoned dogs. Mm -hmm. Once in a while, we had some lost dogs that uh, were brought into our shelter because a lot of them were... You know, they they might escape their enclosures when you know this panic is happening. Mm -hmm. But if they they usually are brought into our shelters or animal control, and they can get reunited with their owners. Now look at this crew. I wanted to show this picture. <laughs> this is your crew, huh? This was the crew up actually in the Oak Fire. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we have is that we have people come. We have teams in Mariposa. We had teams in uh, Kern County that ha ha helped at this uh, mm -hmm. fire. And there, you know, we need um, volunteers. You know? I bet you do. We do yeah. need volunteers, especially, you know, because a lot of our um, incidents that we respond to are in the summer, and mm -hmm. people have jobs, yes. people have go on vacations. And so in July and August is our high fire season. And so sometimes our, our um, volunteers are not always available. But we're having a training that is coming up on uh, February 4th and 5th nice. to, uh, to recruit, you know, we uh, in the northern counties. Mm -hmm. And then in March we'll have a recruitment in our southern counties. I, I was going to get to the question, well, what can we do? What can our viewers do? Well, they can volunteer and they can get trained. Yes, what they can do is go to our website and sign up for our training. It is somewhat rigorous because we are considered emergency responders. Yes. We're not just a, like an animal rescue. And, be, and we have like have to take FEMA online courses, like two of them. But we want to make sure uh, our volunteers are safe. They can yes. safely handle animals because uh, people want to come in and say walk dogs, you know, mm -hmm. during a, an incident. It's not like walking your own dog yeah. because a lot of these dogs are have never been in a cage before. Yeah. They're highly stressed. They're separated. <laughs> From, from their, their owner. owner and they have anxiety certainly yes yeah. and so we don't want them to get bit but we have a lot of times if the owner is at the red cross shelter they'll come and help take care they'll of the come animals in and yes do it's a better bit for of the that. animals too uh so people could get trained uh in in what do you say mariposa it's going to be in Madera County. Madera County, and then also in Fresno in March. Right. But can they find out about that at this website, CCADP? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Actually, the uh, training will be at the Madera Fairgrounds. Oh. And, uh, but anyone from Mariposa, anyone in the northern counties can come in. We invite all the way up to Stanislaus, and we put it on our Facebook page. We are on social media, but anyone's invited to come in because we can use the help. And um, I bet a lot of people are going to... Uh, I mean, they just went through something. A lot I of know. these areas, so they're going to say, "I, yeah, I need to volunteer. At least yes. get the training, and yes. and eventually maybe they can help when you need help." And uh, right, and you know, if not, there's not a lot of, of incidents that have happened in Merced, which is good. Yeah. But actually, anyone who's trained and works in Merced can also really they live close enough to Mariposa yeah. that can help us during the wildfires right. there because we do have quite a few of them every year. Every year. Yes. Um, so what else will they find out? Now, the website is CCADT, Central California Animal Disaster Team, dot .org. Make sure yes. you type dot .org. What else will they find on that website? Can people donate, for example? People can donate. Um, we, of course, uh, we are 100% volunteer, yeah. and so no money goes into our pockets, And but they can donate, but also volunteer. But also we have um, some uh, disaster preparedness education for pet owners. Mm. Because, you know, people think that their pets are family members. Yep. And so what we want to do is make sure they're prepared. And we also give away during events that we, mm -hmm. um, can you see this? Yep. These are emergency bags that we can give away. It has um, information on what to, you know, put it's into like emergency. It's like your travel bag. And yes, and this be is ready. yours. Oh, thank you. For my pet that for I have. Pet. You got to meet my pet a few minutes ago. Now, um, were people surprised this year? Did you see some surprises uh, were people surprised by the emergencies this year that they faced? I think Merced was. Yeah. I think Merced was because they have the last flood that we uh, or incident that we have responded to was in 2017. Yeah. It was a flood not as um, devastating as this, but I think um, you know it, sometimes it, it's, it can be a wake up call. Yeah. I mean, and it's just that for people to be prepared. And they, you know, and you, how can you prepare for something like that? You yeah. never know because never it's know. been such so dry this uh, yeah. this year. 
uh, these past years. So I think people will be more prepared now. And what we want to do is get into the community in Merced and other communities to uh, talk about disaster preparedness for their animals. Have a bag ready for you and one for the animal. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you may not be able to take your animal with you. You may have to have somebody located for you. And you could turn this bag over with your animal to the team that, mm -hmm. that is going to babysit on or what the term is. But... Uh, uh, Oh, we shelter. Shelter is a way better <laughs> word. And I got my bag. So, you know, you're not old enough to remember this, but in the early 60s, and we had floods in Fresno before they did a lot of the flood control right. projects. So we had real floods here. But we expected them every year, so you kind of got ready for them. Right. So in the fires, I get guess people probably have a... Uh, travel bag all ready to go hopefully we hope uh, hopefully they we call them go bags go bags yeah, yeah. go bags but um i think we're more used to wildfires but also we're talking about home fires single yes. um and multi-unit home fires and a disaster could happen anywhere it can happen anywhere yeah. it's just not wildfires it's not fire it could be hazmat yeah. it could be earthquake it could be anything if you knew it was coming it's probably not a disaster that's what a disaster is something that's a surprise you're not totally prepared for right but for your pet get prepared get prepared yeah. you know because we see people who will just scoop up their pets and they say and they will say you know what I can replace anything, but I can't replace my dog or my cat or whatever. You know, I spent both most most of my life on a property that with a well. I never even thought of that as being the, you know, could yeah. be out for weeks or something. It could be. I know the Creek Fire. They was out for quite a while. Yeah. You know, because they'll they'll have to uh, PG&E will have to de-energize the, the power. Um, you know, because due to the fire. So you know, if people will have enough water, especially for a lot of livestock, if, if they can last maybe a day or so. Yeah. But if during the hot summer, we need to get out there. Yep. yep. Yeah. Um, Naomi Tobias is our guest. She's the founder and CEO of Central California Animal Disaster Team. And uh, visit their website, ccadt.org. Even if you don't think you're going to have a disaster, take a look at that. If you think you might even like to volunteer and get involved, just go check out that website. Anything else you want our viewers to know? No. What we are about is, well, yes. What we're about is helping the communities save the entire family. The entire family, because yes. your pets are your family. Yeah. Now I told uh, Naomi this. I'm doing all the clicking on the show here today because crew out in their classes today. So I think I could do this without them. There we yeah. go. Uh, Naomi and Tobias, thank you. Go to ccadt.org. We'll be back with more Central Valley Talk right after this. Thank you.